Hello everyone, welcome back to BPO Interview Tutorials and today we came up with an another concept in Google Data Studio or else Looker Studio. So guys, what is this Google Data Studio, Looker Studio? Please watch out our last 5 videos, you will get all the information. In one shot, I can say these are the tool which will help you to create dashboards in few clicks. So don't, don't miss to look after all the videos and sh please keep sharing subscribing the channel i'm telling you guys if you're working on google sheet and if you're not using google data studio lucas studio which means you are still wasting time in a manual reports so just check it out guys this is really useful so let's start today's concept so today we will learn about how to add drop downs or else in the manual excel sheet we will uh, uh, we will say this as in slicers, image slicers. The people who worked on dashboard, they will really know about it, image slicers. So, but here in the local studio, we will use drop downs, which are very easy to use. So, how this data got added, how this data got prepared, everything we'll get to know in our last videos, guys. So, please check it out. So, today we will add slicers here or else drop down. What you need to do, you just need to go to, this is the view mode. I'm editing it okay I'll click on edit you need to go to add control click on drop down list automatically a drop down will comes you just need to paste it wherever you required now suppose you are presenting data team leader wise you want like okay what I'll do in my this graph I will remove team leader name or else I just only want to see the data of uh, the particular team lead you will use the drop down here automatically they have taken TL details that I'll explain you why before that I'll show you view how this is looking out now if you click on view you will to see you will be getting a drop down with the name of TL whatever TLs we have in our data you will get that you just need to select joy the one TL just click outside you will get all the details about the joy you can see here the admins the employees who are belongs to joy teams that you will get details of those this is and you will get the quality scores as well right about the people who are working under joy now i want details of two team lead you can select two team leaders as well you'll get details of two team leaders how how they are performing how, what is the scores of their individual team so this is a kind of a slicers what you guys may be used in the manual product uh, this uh, excel reports okay now Again, you will go in edit. This is all about the drop down. You can add multiple. So it's just loading out. How this TL came? So by default, they will select any of the column or row. If you click on this, in the right hand side, you will see the setup and style over here. You can give style, style in the sense you can give color, many things you can give. Suppose you can give a uh, fixed size, you can just select the fixed size also. Now you can checkbox color. You can just choose the checkbox color as well. Suppose I'm choosing out here red. If you go, if you see automatically the color will the color code of checkbox will get changed to red. You can also uh, checkbox border color if you want to change. So once you hover over the icons, you will get all the information. Now header font color. Now this is header color. Okay, now let's just check it out. How how this looks like? I'll give this as an Okay, orange. Let's let's see how this is looking. See the header color got changed to orange. So you can give style. So you just need to check it out all the options. Um, implement it and check it out where they are useful. You can also change the background and the border color. I want to keep background color as sky blue. So you can see that the background color got changed to sky blue now. So it's up to you how you want to show this. Now this is the style. This is just give you the color font the design what you require now we will move to setup setup is the main thing guys now they have normally taken or automatically taken this as a tl now you want not tl you want as per the employee name you want the data so you can go to the control field here they have chosen as tl you just need to select it if you select it it will give you the another options so i'll take employee name now automatically you can see the data will get loaded and you will be getting employee names here. Now you will get all the employee names 
so individual employee name if you want to search you can do it over here guys now basically this slicers will be used if you want monthly data suppose individual month like monthly you want weekly data individual date data you required you can use it now one more best thing you can do is if you want multiple slicer you will again go to add control you will again add one drop down and you will set up it out here right and then you will change it to employee name tl whatever row or column you, or whatever details you required out what i would suggest just always go with one uh, slicer or drop down you just give the all the relative color font everything you just do copy and you just do control v as in paste control c as in copy control v as in paste so what benefit you will get here you no need to keep all the colors again to the another drop down okay you just need to uh, remove this employee name now I will select this as an TL okay I'll select this as a date now okay now I'll get all this information about the date so understood guys this slicers you can easily use but don't always create new just copy paste it the another one and change it whatever cells you required in this uh, drop down it, it's very easy it's very easy now you can see this is still loading maybe there is some network issue but you can utilize this uh, see you will get all the employee name right so but we have added here date yes it's, it's getting changed so there is some network issue due to that it's taking time but yes you will get all the required information here fair enough so this is all about the image slicer or else we can say drop down in the looker studio right you can utilize it in a different way now here whatever changes you will do in this particular drop down automatically whatever graph pivot table whatever you have like donut chart pie chart everywhere the data reflection will get changed because this particular slicers are linked to all these graphs and table which you have added in the below so this is the main point to be understand so this is all about the image slicer or else i can say drop down which you can use it and this will really help you in uh, doing the analysis over the data so that's it guys if you still have any doubt please let me know surely i'll help you with the uh, reason and the answer please share subscribe the channel and don't miss to click on like button thanks a lot guys thanks for watching have a great day